Are you broke? Can you barely afford basic necessities such as food or housing? Well, you might be living in true medieval Europe. So today we're back playing Crusader Kings 3 with the new DLC, Roads to Power. Yes, today I'm playing the tall challenge where you need to have zero holdings and become as rich as possible. And who better to do that with than this man here, Leon the Landlord. Now, like any landlord, in his soul, he is quintessentially evil. That's why I've made him greedy, immortal, possessed and a lunatic. Okay, so we start here in the middle of the HRE. You'll notice we are dirt poor with no prospects of making any money at all. In fact, it's next to impossible to make any money as a landless character, which Leon is. The way we're going to get rich today is by founding holdings all over the map where there are no holdings yet, essentially building housing. We're going to be doing that with this decision, found a holding which creates a castle on a spot. The beautiful thing about this is annually you get paid rent from 50 gold to 400 gold depending on the level of development but it's not easy to do this in fact you actually need a lot of things to go right you need a, a barony that doesn't have a holding you need the ruler to have a good opinion of you you need to have a thousand gold or be devoted servant or be famous or be an architect or have great stewardship so this is quite difficult to achieve and that's going to be our task right off rip i think the first thing to climb to is making our way down the stewardship tree to become an architect. In the meantime, though, I'm going to need to collect some seed capital, as it were, to invest in my buildings. We're going to need about a thousand gold, which is not super easy to come by. So I'm going to need to pick up contracts around the map. Now, contracts are these little pop ups here like this guy. And you go and do a task for somebody. This guy needs a surveyor to go around his land, make sure it's all copacetic. You know, everything's all good. And uh, he's going to pay me from 72 gold to 82 gold if I can do this. But there's other contracts. There's a military one over here where you can go hunt criminals down or a transport one where you can escort an emissary. I'm going to pick up this stewardship one. I'm going to change my camp's focus to be scholars. This is going to give us more stewardship and learning contracts, which our boy is more inclined to complete successfully. And look, look at that. He's got a little hat now. Wow, isn't that wacky? Now, as you can see, my little character is going to walk over there. And as he walks over there because it's a census he's gonna start taking some notes inhabitants are, are pretty happy so i can say all right probably belongs to this guy rightfully same thing in this town people love him plus one chance of success and over here too easy as you like so we've completed the survey and it's been a grand victory we gained 82 gold coins all we need now is just to complete that like i don't know 20 more times and then we'll be perfectly set up to absolutely destroy the no holding tall challenge by being a landlord as you can see, there's no more stewardship or learning contracts around, so it's going to be imperative we visit the local castle and just see what the town crier might have for us. They only have martial contracts or travel contracts, so the other way to get new contracts is just by moving to a new location where they might have uh, new things to do. So I'll make my way on over, I suppose, to Bohemia maybe and uh, see what they have over there. Okay, so over here at Bohemia, they have some contracts, which is going to be perfect. So I'm going to go around and keep completing contracts now. I'm going to try to stack my gold to the thousand required. And I'm also going to wait to slowly gain perks down the architect tree here and unlock the architect lifestyle trait that will allow us to build and found holdings. But this might take some time, so I'll kind of come back when we're ready. Okay, so some time has passed, specifically like 10 years, I've been able to fulfill a lot of contracts and save up about 1400 gold, which is nothing compared to the amount we're going to be making annually a little bit later. But founding a holding isn't that simple. We still need to be able to fulfill a couple other things to be able to just build a holding, let alone rent it out. Now we have our thousand gold and we have a decent stewardship. Another way to unlock this is to get the trait architect to become a devoted servant or to have a level of fame that is illustrious. To me, the next easiest one to pick up is the devoted servant. You get this by getting more piety and unlocking the next tier of piousness. A very simple way to do this is to go on a pilgrimage to any of the holy sites. So I'm going to do a pious pilgrimage and I'm going to hit up the Vatican and we'll make sure our pilgrimage is focused on zealotry. And along this trip, I'm just going to take any option that gives me the most piety. So uh, yes, I definitely speak Latin and know what this means. 
Oh, and for 10 gold, I can gain the artifact, the arm of St. George. I literally get this guy's old arm and it'll give me additional piety per month. I think I will do that. Roma, it has been an honor. So I've made it to Rome. I finished my pilgrimage and I gained 262 piety. Now we're not quite at devoted servant just yet. So I'm going to make my way on over to any local church. This one over here seems good. So I'm going to move my camp over there. And while I'm at the local church, I can visit the church holding. If I actually go to the church grounds, I can now make a donation and for 15 gold, I can gain 250 piety, which will put me over the level two devoted servant. But now we actually have enough to found a holding and become a greedy landlord. So now that we can found a holding, all we have to do to be able to fulfill this is meander our way to a barony that does not have a holding in it. As you can see, founding a holding will give us anywhere between 50 and 400 gold, but it's based on the amount of buildings within the holding, the level of the barony, and the development of the county. So what I really want to do is find somewhere that is very developed. It's held by somebody with a lot of gold willing to improve it over time because that's going to increase our rent exponentially. So let's take a look at places that are really developed develop places like Constantinople at the time with a development level of 42. The problem with this is Constantinople itself already has a holding in it. Other places like France also very developed, but everywhere is taken up by holdings. Where we are right now is close to Mainz, which has a good opportunity to develop something. I think we should meander over here and develop a holding right there. So let's grab the shovels and build our first holding. The ground underneath me is untouched by human hands yet. I can already see where this city hall shall stand, where merchants shall weigh their wares and pay their taxes to me. The supplies are gathered, my followers are restless, all that's needed is my word to start. Let us begin. Now you can see it's going to take about six years to build this, and over time, slowly and surely, I'll get some pop-ups with some options to invest a little bit of additional gold, but it's going to be incredibly beneficial if I do make that investment. While I wait for those six years, I'm going to slowly make my way down to another holding. Specifically, I'm going to travel down here to Roma because they have the next greatest development and look at this There is a spot here. There are two spots I could found holdings here And if I do this oh baby the gold income is going to be huge and as I move my holding builds itself Oh, and as we started making our way there We got this pop-up to improve our holding the one we built in Katzendelbogen sure I just upset every German ever but uh, basically we could improve it with the power of a water. There's an idle flowing creek nearby. I can uh, just say cool, we'll build water wheels for 80 gold or I could put 200 gold and we can gain overshot water wheels which is going to increase the tax there exponentially. Money's not really a problem for us so I think I will invest in this. Oh, perfect. Down here in Rome, there's three con four contracts that are going to be awesome for us. We can take these stewardship contracts really quickly, and that's easy gold. We've been able to do those all game so far. <laughs> so here I can settle a boundary dispute for this guy. It should be super easy. Let's head on over there. We'll gain at 98 gold for essentially doing pretty much nothing. Just easy as you like. Oh, beautiful. Another happy Patreon. Like all my Patreons who simply get members only videos on the channel and their name in the credits. But if you can't afford the one Canadian dollar, a month, which is, let's be honest, essentially monopoly money at this point. You can just like and subscribe and it means the world to me. Thank you so much. Oh, and we got another pop-up. The construction is progressing nicely. The skeleton of the city is visible. We have enough builders to keep building it, but there's not enough people to fill every building. <laughs> Let me get my purse. So if I've spent 40 gold and 500 piety, we can gain the city center building, which will improve the tax also. So yeah, let me get my purse and invest in this, dude. Oh, and another stewardship contract popped up. Another boundary dispute. Oh, we're pretty good at these, man. Let's just travel there and accept these bad boys. The haunted manor. As we walk down the halls, they say this estate is haunted. Okay. I hesitantly look around. The hall is a bit darker than I would have expected. Would you like a tour of the haunted mansion? Intriguing. And we walk down a dark, deserted hallway. Suddenly, a large, dark shape comes swooshing down on top of me in this haunted mansion. It's one of my quarters just scaring me. Oh my days. I can, I can literally beat her and gain 10 dread and give her the trait wounded. Or I could laugh and spend some prestige. Uh, prestige is important. <laughs> uh, I just literally beat a woman because she scared me. 
So with uh, those contracts fulfilled, we're now sitting at close to a thousand gold again. I'm going to keep doing different contracts so we'll, we can transcribe some texts up here. Oh, and would you look at that? More stewardship contracts popped up on the map. So we'll just take those for the easy gold they give us. Okay, so our city has been built. The city ending. Decades from now, tales will be told about how I came to Katzenbug Larry. I brought forth its potential and... Now I can either pick I conquered, meaning I have a pressed claim against the city I just built. We're not going to be doing that. I'm going to say I brought forth its potential and I left to achieve more elsewhere. This is going to give me a ton of... Of prestige the nickname the city builder and it'll allow the city to pay me dividends each year and not only that it'll allow me to found another holding and you can see this holding's gonna pay decent dividends because it's got the water wheels the city center and the monastic schools i've left to achieve something more and we're ready to found another holding but unfortunately well <laughs> Rome is covered in uh, plague right now. So I'm just going to wait a little bit till this subsides. All right, so let's mosey on down to Rome here and build out the new holding. Okay, and all we got to do is found the... Why can't we do it? We fulfill everything. Alexander II has at least... Doesn't have a good opinion of us. What's wrong? Why doesn't he like us? Minus three? What? Whipped my subject. <laughs> Because I beat that woman, he lost opinion of us. Um, okay. Maybe if I send him a little gift of gold. Oh, beautiful. If I send him 150 gold, he'll gain 34 opinion of us and just completely forget I beat one of his followers. <laughs> now, uh, something curious about the Pope. Uh, I don't know how the Pope gets... How does the Pope... How, how does the Pope do that? <laughs> Anyways... Now, the beautiful thing about founding a holding here is the Pope has a ton of gold. So once this holding is created, I'm sure he's going to be investing in it like he's investing in this one and building hamlets. He'll be investing in my holding, making it even more valuable. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and found this holding. Grab the shovels, lads. Let us begin. And now we'll have two cities producing gold on an annual basis, paying us money. But this is going to take at least five years to build this castle holding. So in the meantime, I'll just do more contracts, bide my time, and chill out. Oh, and we just got a dividend of 136 gold. This holding up here is paying out annually. You can see it's got a city center, it's got its water wheels, and just like that, we're increasing our gold. And it's going to be paying out every November, which is sick. Okay, so we got the pop-up to invest in Paterno, and we definitely will be investing in these water wheels. And we'll build a city center there too. Oh, beautiful. And it's paying out a dividend again the next November, 136 gold. And we are just stacking gold. So we have the option between building guild halls, the level one building, or or investing a little bit more gold for carpenter guilds, giving increased tax and development growth in the county. The more buildings we have increasing development growth here in Rome, the more developed the whole area is going to be and the more annual rent we're going to collect. Oh, and the holding has completed buildings. City of Paterno, the end. So again, I'm going to say I've left to achieve more elsewhere. So I think I'm going to stay in Rome. Maybe I'll build a holding down here, which should pay pretty good dividends as well. So now all I have to do is wait another five years for this to start paying dividends. And Paterno is paying us 272 gold. Let's go. And it's only going to get better. As I wait for my holding to be built, I think I'm going to make my way on down here to Constantinople because the holding next to Constantinople is getting some development spillover. They're sitting at 20 development and I can build a barony right here. I'm going to slowly start moving my camp towards the Byzantine Empire. Okay, I'm going to come over to my camp and I have here a list of patrons. So everybody I've been completing contracts for and gaining gold, I can go over and make requests from them. So I can ask them for provisions, gold. Not only that, but I can arrange a marriage. So if I can find somebody to marry for myself, I can potentially secure a solid heir and get them landed eventually. So let's make a request for this. And this guy, if I arrange a marriage with him, he's got this courtier of his who is intelligent and she's 25. So we can secure a child 
child that is a possessed lunatic. He'll make a perfect landlord. And quick, let's send this off and try and marry this woman. That could actually be huge for us. And Paolo has completed. But again, I've left to achieve more elsewhere and it should be paying insane dividends pretty soon also because it's absolutely stacked with crazy development too. Oh, and my wife has become pregnant. I cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. I had Paterno's dividends pay out just in time for us to be able to found another holding. But the only thing holding us back, uh, Michael the Seventh, not a huge fan of us, minus five. A small gift of gold should improve that. 225 gold, but he loves us now. And he loves us so much that we can construct a new holding. Let's found this bad boy. Let us begin. And we've had a son, Leon. <laughs> Look at this kid, that's definitely my child. So I'm going to start educating Leon in the ways of being a good landlord. Our original German holding pays some dividends. Paterno's paying dividends. And Paolo's paying 280 in dividends. That's almost 500 gold a year we're making now. Okay, so we've completed uh, this city. And again, I've left to achieve more elsewhere. And this is going to give me another 2000 prestige. The beautiful thing about that is the more and more prestige prestige we gain, the more our level of fame increases. And you can see we're already exalted among men just from founding these holdings. Now that we're more famous, we have the ability to take two star contracts. So you can see a one star contract for stewardship over here only offers 90 gold, whereas a two star contract will offer 179, pretty much simply for showing up because we're famous. I've also been looking around for somewhere to slap down my neck next holding. Now, well, over here near Constantinople is a good option. I also explored near Lesbos over here, but the best option I think is going to be here in Attica and not New York, because here I could found at least two holdings and that should increase the development here a lot. And all I have to do is bribe this guy with a little bit of gold so he'll like me a little bit more. But once I do that, he'll like me enough to allow me to found a holding on his settlement and oh boy. Is this gonna work well? Grab the shovels and let us begin, lads. We're building an empire of rent collection. In the meantime, while I wait the five years for this to tick down, I'm going to execute some more contracts, uh, namely my level two contracts that have come into play. Easy as you like, we made 179 gold just because we're famous and we helped this guy build a whole day or something. And at the same time, I wanna stress how absolutely insane this strategy is. We're currently sitting about 6,000 gold, but we're making a ton monthly. Look, our German holding just paid us 144. These two holdings here in Rome are giving us about 300 each. Our Greek holding up here is giving us 200. And now we're building another holding that's going to give us about 200. So we're only 52 years old and we're making 1,200 gold per year. And we have no holdings to our name. We're just the creator and landlord of some. So this is perfectly attainable in a normal life. But luckily for us, I've made Leon immortal. So we are going to get absolutely absolutely wacky with this and build holdings all across the map, ultimately giving us infinite amounts of gold. And this is a, a little tiny TT wait, bit broken. Okay, perfect. We've finished this city and I've left to achieve something elsewhere. And namely, the town right next door has a empty plot of dirt. So we'll move over there and, and that'll allow us to found another holding. And we've gotten the thing. So I've left to achieve more and we're becoming even closer towards a legendary figure. And again, we're just making money like it's nobody's business. We're sitting at 15,000 gold. We have literally nothing to spend it on for now. We're ready to set up another holding. So let me just move over here and found another holding. We'll come back in five years and see how we are. And by that time, our lovely little Leon, my lovely child here, will be all grown up and ready to be a landlord himself. Okay, Leon's come of age and he'll be ready. We'll get him landed and, and ruling. 168 gold. Two 200 gold, 320 gold, and our new city's been completed where I've left to achieve more. And we're now sitting at 22,000 gold. I've moved my camp down here to Baghdad where it is actually quite developed as well. There's a lot of room to build new holdings. So I think what I'm gonna do is just set up another holding right here in this marshland. 
and it should pay insane dividends as well. So let's found a holding down here now. And now we have to start thinking about building out our empire. We've got a massive amount of gold and what are we going to do with it? Well, Leon spouted some uh, interesting looking offspring, namely Leon the Landlord 2 over here, and he would make a perfect ruler, I think. Currently, we are Frankish, but what I'm going to do is adopt the local Sicilian culture here because the Sicilians have swords for hire, and that's going to be incredibly important later on. So let's just convert to local culture. OK, so Paolo is paying out 336 gold annually now. Our original holdings paying out 168, Oreo 176. This other Greek one, 192. Paterno 336. This one, 250. So we're just racking in gold annually. Like, it's actually disgusting. Somehow I gained negative 3,000 piety. I'm not sure what I did for that. I'm just going to head to different churches around and make some small donations in exchange for piety at each one so that I can kind of bring this back to level zero. Because for a donation, I'll lose 15 gold, but I'll gain 250 piety. And those add up pretty quick. So I'm back in kind of Italy here. I'm going to found yet another holding and we'll get going pretty soon. And as soon as I have sufficient piety, we will be ready to start conquering. So yeah, I think it's time we actually get landed here and uh, maybe secure some land titles for our heirs so they can go out and rule. Just looking around, I kind of want to found more holdings here on the coast. So I want to declare war against maybe somebody that's weaker, that's not really too, too strong. Maybe down here. These guys, they only have 800 troops. They're already in a war. So declaring war against them should be a pretty easy clap. Now, you'll notice Notice our army is uh, terrible. So I'm just going to hire a bunch of mercenaries with our massive amount of gold. And now with our huge amount of mercenaries, I'll just fire these guys in and this war should be pretty easy. We just paid for almost all of our mercenaries with that one dividend, I think. Several months later. There we go. So now we have become landed. The only thing I'm going to do is come and find some wives for my children here. Too very boring minutes later. Awesome. So now that we've got all those alliances secure, I think what I'll do is just hit the road again. I'll leave my son to hold this holding. Actually, you know what? We'll we'll make sure we uh, buy him a nice building while we're here. So I think I'm going to take this decision to become an adventurer. Now, you will remember we became a Sicilian before and the Sicilian Sicilians have the swords for hire trait, which allows you to take this adventurer decision again. So I'm going to become an adventurer. So right now my player heir is 34 years old. And if I become an adventurer, he will hold this holding, rule over it and just be super strong. So we'll allow him to do that and we'll just become a simple adventurer of the land. So let's become an adventurer again and hit the road. Perfect. So we lost our county, but it really does not matter because we are back out there and count leon is our new heir beautiful and we'll secure him some holdings as well i lost a level of fame that's fine we'll be founding more holdings in no time and our dividends are still paying out. In fact, Salerno almost has another holding constructed and we'll uh, wait to throw up a second one down there. Okay, so somehow my uh, my son's negative gold right now. I think I'm just going to prop him up a little bit and keep sending him gifts. Uh, hopefully that'll help him out. Build a, a bigger army or, or something. I, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we've uh, built the city of Potenza and we can just found a new city right here. Perfect. So we'll have two cities founded in Salerno. I guess I could just build out the rest of all of Italy, make sure that every single place is a holding. I guess I could do that and we'll see how much gold we get. So I've pumped this guy up full of gold. He's got 6,000 gold. He's only got 500 troops. So he's in this war and he refuses to buy additional mercenaries, which I can't understand. Cool. So he didn't use any of the gold I sent him and he didn't win his war. They took a white piece. This guy's smart. I may not have a brain, gentlemen but I have an idea. Oh, Paterno is now giving 400 gold. Where's Paterno? Down here. At 50 development, it's giving 400 gold annually. That's the max it could give. If I could get the development in Italy higher, I could make more annually. So what if I just start giving everybody here some gold? That could be big, actually. <laughs> Okay, so the year is 1157. We just crossed the coveted 100,000 gold mark. And let's just see how the year plays out, like how fast things come up. So we got one, two, 
four, eight, eventually 14. So we made almost 3000 gold in a year. We have more gold than literally anybody on the planet. Actually, everybody on the planet combined. If you take all the, the most powerful, richest nations, we make more gold than all of them. Okay, so uh, we founded another city here, but that actually puts us back to the legendary figure status since we landed our air down here. They're doing great. They have 1400 troops now with their 2000 gold that I gave them. So I think it's time we actually start using our 160,000 gold from our rent on, well, something useful. And to me, something useful would be to declare war on the Byzantine Empire, one of the strongest empires in the game currently. And now I can actually invade his entire empire and I'll be able to conquer it with three whole troops, mostly because we're going to use all our gold on hiring mercenaries. Now there's these special mercenaries that we can hire that are essentially like our allies. So I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of them, uh, as many as I can. I don't know, I think there's a max to this. Yeah, I can hire max three. And then I'm going to hire just every single other mercenary that exists on the map before the Byzantine Empire can hire them. Okay, so that put a, a minor dent in our gold income, but we now have 60,000 troops. Let's just run these boys right into their death here, right at Constantinople and see how this goes. Many months later. And now the war is a little bit more lopsided. Okay, we're besieging some holdings. This guy just did a quick hit and run. That was actually kind of dirty. Okay, we knocked him up in one sick battle, and just like that, Leon takes the Byzantine Empire. What a glorious day for all Romans. <laughs> Look at this lad in charge of the entire Byzantine Empire, collecting rent on every single property. Oh my days. And just like that, by founding holdings all over the map, collecting rent, and being the greatest landlord to ever exist, we've gone from a nobody with no gold to making thousands of gold per year and controlling the world's strongest army. Thank you so much for watching the Landless Tall Challenge. If you made it this far, you might as well like and subscribe. And if I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. The Ottawa Welshman CK3, man, I'm the king of this land. If you want renown, and if you like this video, the one I picked on screen right now is where I ruled the entire world with the most powerful army and fed them using nothing but cannibalism. Check it out. Cousin is the mom. Tutorials played through speed runs to win. No challenge too great for the Ottawa Welshman.